Hello everyone, uh, my name is Monica Rikic. I'm an artist from Barcelona and I'm very happy to be here for the Arduino Day and celebrate its 20th anniversary uh, because I think I kind of know Arduino for 20 years almost right now when I was studying fine arts here in the University of Barcelona and everything was like well, the typical thing, right? Like you're painting, you're doing a sculpture. Uh, but then suddenly we, I was lucky enough to have this teacher that brought us this amazing thing that no one knew what it was. And it was actually uh, one of the first Arduinos. And for me, it was like discovering magic. Like suddenly I could use something that could actually feel and react to the real world and that could, could be actually programmed and reprogrammed every time to do whatever magic or witchcraft I wished of and that's actually how my relationship with Arduino started and now I'm very happy and proud to uh, transfer all this information all these ways of making amazing things with art with my art students here in the Imbau University in Barcelona where we have uh, this uh, arts and digital arts program that it's basically everything done outside the screen thanks to, to Arduino and for the past year, since uh, Arduino R4 Wi-Fi just came uh, out, we went like one step forward because uh, we could connect everything wireless through its OSC. And I would like to share with you a, a project that I'm very happy that it has been like recently added to the um, Catalan Con National Contemporary Art Collection. So PsychoFlash is a large-scale uh, interactive installation that is made of 20 or, well, it can be more, but it usually are 20 modules. And they are made with an Arduino R4 Wi-Fi that is connected to a fan, to a relay and to a, an LED strip. It's a very, very simple uh, system, but actually it creates a very impressive effect and a very organic uh, feeling because the, um, the like, we can say that they are like these big inflatable balloons that are uh, set up in the, in the ceiling and people can walk underneath them um, having this breathing effect, you know, having like this effect that the room is kind of alive, like transforming all the space in a multi-sensory experience that actually can react to the, um, the people interaction. There's different ways that the... Um, Pro, that the modules can interact with the people and that's all thanks to the OSC capacities that the, o, the R4 Arduino gives to them because uh, they are not only interactive by themselves but they can also be interconnected. Uh, one of the ways that I use them for, um, for its interactivity is connect a webcam that can um, somehow detect how many people and how people are moving underneath the balloons and would affect uh, their lights and their movements, like giving them more or less actions, for example. There's also another way that we, um, me and a colleague called Ruben, that we created like a more playful uh, installation for them for a maze festival last year in 2024, uh, that they would, they would like transform the installation into something uh, playful. So you had a total of two players and you had like a custom made um, controller that was actually made with the new uh, ESP32 Nano Arduino um, devices and uh, some custom soft controllers that were in the legs of the little like uh, controllers, like there was li these little creatures that were controllers and you had like this kind of this matrix that was controlled also with the processing. You can move the lights of the inflatables and then when they touch each other, you would create like general effects between all of them. The installation has been set up in different festivals around the world. It has been very successful. People really enjoy it. And as I said, it's like a very, very simple system. And I'm very happy and I'm very proud that it has been recently added to the National Contemporary Art Collection of Catalonia, being the first uh, artwork in that collection uh, powered by Arduino. So I think that's something also good to celebrate in this 20th anniversary of Arduino. PsychoFlash was first commissioned by a program called AMA, which means Art Meets Apollo, and it was um, a program that would uh, allow artists to enter in a very famous nightclub here in Barcelona called Apollo. And it wasn't about just creating the typical, it was more about bringing 
uh, the museum or the gallery inside the nightclub. Uh, it was a co-commission between the, the, the nightclub Apollo and Lab 36 and Sendai Gallery in Barcelona, which are two of the major galleries that I work here with artists. And for me, it was very nice because it was a way for a lot of people that don't usually go to art spaces to enjoy your art. I could never think about my practice without Arduino. Thank you, thank you for being there. Thank you for making electronics much more accessible for artists like me. And please keep going. Thank you very much.